Hello Stratters. I'm Dan. I am trying out Drake Tron. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am playing a 5-0 deck from a league. He just picks it up. He just wants to try out Drake before it gets banned. Nematodes. Hi Nematodes. Good luck. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. I got the impulse. I got two lands. I guess I'm playing. <laughs> it doesn't look good, does it? Hmm. I wonder why I'm not playing preordain. I can't tell from Goldfish who actually played this deck in the tournament. It's just a sample deck for Drake Tron. Nematodes is deciding whether to mulligan. This reminds me a lot of the days of Temporal Fisher. Simic Storm Post, remember that. The controversy of the first Pauper Gauntlet. Those were the days. Okay, Nematodes. Well, this guy is a no-show, gotta find another opponent. Here is Mr. Crazy Horse. Let's play him. I suppose there is a lot of quitting right now in the format because of these Drake decks. Solid, only tapped lands. Super slow opening. He mulligans to six and keeps. He, I'm playing first. Hornwood falls. F6, F8. Oh, finally! It happened to me. It's Delver! That will be interesting. I don't know how I defeat Delver. It seems super, super hard. Combo decks and fog decks such as this. Super weak to Delver. Get to do what I want on my turn. If I draw another land here, I would love to play Explore. And I do have Explore, so I play it. Play the Guild Gate. I'm sure he's able to flip that too. Yes, he is. So three turns, but I got the moments piece as well. So I'm not that worried. Okay, I am pretty worried. I'm thinking impulse. Prism. Uh, research seems white. Uh, <laughs> he has white in his deck, so that seems bad. Not dead yet, so I am. I'm looking for that mine, so I can discard the second mine. And then we uh, we are in the pipe. Okay, that's a billion million mana. So let's try to resolve a Mull Rifter. Or do we even 
go compulsive research first. No, we want a mull drifter here, but it's going to get countered. But then he can't counter the other stuff. That felt good. And now we have double moments piece, which we are going to need. I think. Can also flicker at the end of turn. Uh, I'm going to trade a not moments piece, unless that happens. But now we could flicker, but then it counters the flicker and we die. But then it can counter the moments piece. So that should work, right? So flicker, muldrifter, prism. Wow. Sweet. Looks strong. Uh, okay, he gets shadow. That seems like a wasted card. I can still block the other one. But he just attacks with that one. So do we now go to three or do we actually moment thief? I think we don't need to moment space. Or we can go off with Drake next turn. Maybe we need moment space in the graveyard. And now I really gave it away. Okay, I'm gonna moment space. Already a minute behind him. Uh, tireless tribe combo, sweet, but I have a better combo, I think. It's called Mr. Drake. But I'll still die to that uh, counter spell for the moment, please. Won't I? No, I won't. Uh, so now I need to draw a billion million cards. Can I even kill him? No, I can't kill him yet. Uh, I am discarding the power plant. I'm playing this. Oh, I got uh, Mnemonic Wall Ghostly Flicker. That is the win, right? It's infinite mana. Uh, yes, please. And then we flicker. It's got five tap lands. Yes. Uh, get flicker. Yes. Tapping five lands. Play this. And then we need two red somehow. So we flicker again. I should no, definitely not have tapped the first prophetic prism. 
We need 22 mana to kill him. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And return flicker, yes. It uh, doesn't help to not be able to see properly here. Uh, do some more flickering. I wonder how much mana we need to have. I would concede if I was him. No, I wouldn't. Depends. So let's do it one more time. Uh, getting back flicker. Tapping the lands. Yes. So now I could just flicker that thing. And the Drake. Okay. There we go. Okay. Against his deck, I want the spells. He looked very aggressive though. Aerial volleys. Probably the last moments piece. Don't need those because it's not hard control. I'm gonna board out the explorers. I seem to tend to do that. Seagate Oracle. Not super useful here. Without a strong ground attack. Could make a case for uh, compulsive research. Keep two of them in. To block Tyler's tribe if nothing else. But he's gonna try to combo with Tyler's tribe then. Should I brought in the two fogs? Maybe I should. How would you have Cyberia? Tell me exactly what cards you, you bring in and take out. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is the second match I'm playing this game. <laughs> this deck. This looks uh, like a hand for me. I feel that 23 lands is a bit short. With like 11 5 mana creatures in the deck. Eighteen minutes, that's uh, not bad. Brainstorm. So I'm gonna play to explore just to dig further. If I find another land I get to play, then I can play Compulsive Research. Wow, this deck is a lot of fun, people. White mana. For the combo. No, it's Benevolent Bodyguard. And there is the land I needed. Didn't I, I board out the Explorers? Apparently not. Research or Seagate Oracle. He's setting up the Tyler's Tribe combo. And if he gets that on like on turn three or four, he should win. I just want more mana. And compulsive is the best way to find it, isn't it? Danger of remove soul or something is huge here, so I think I go with research. I think I really want to tower here. I am gonna discard two cards. I am gonna discard moments piece and the moments piece. And play the tower. Maybe 
first impulse next turn. Looking for power plant. Not a lot happening over there. Wow, that'll set him back. Maybe he gets the combo. Oh, just nothing happening. So I will impulse. Looking for power plant above everything. Um, I think I'm taking the Maldrifter here. And I'm playing the Prism. Give me a land so I can start dropping Maldrifters. No! Okay, Seagate, Oracle, Revoke, Maldrifters. There's a Delver. Uh, There is a greater chance of being successful with Seagate Oracle into a land. And no counter spells. I'll take the tower, play the prism. There's the power plant. Next turn, people. Next turn. Double Maldrifter. And flicker for that. Yeah, you can have him. Can I go off here? No, I don't have a Drake. So no, I'm stuck with casting ton of Maldrifters. There is a moment's peace. Malrifter. And the Drake. Uh, so we just play the Drake, I guess. We got to tap that too. Oh, we don't. We could do that later. Top five lands. Lacking colored mana here, so I should probably click a prism. Uh, let's just do that. Flicker. Can I torch him here? Can I get to that? I could. So I flicker Drake. Tap the lands. He counters the flicker. Okay, not much harm done, right? He's down to four cards. And I have a lot of useless mana. But it's not like I'm dying anytime soon. And I have moments pieces for days. 
<laughs> Squadron <laughs> Okej, okay, how much mana do we have? 13, 14. Flicker gives me... Another 10. So it is lethal. So I can't play through with the spell here. But uh, nothing bad is happening, so let's just uh, play Muldrifters. Another tower. Uh, go for infinite mana. I should just untap this, right? So we do go for infinite mana. And then we have... Oh, I did that wrong. I should have flickered and flickered again. Okay, he just couldn't take it anymore. And I can understand that. I did a ton of mistakes, but this deck just feels very broken against dirty control decks. Even decks with a combo. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.